Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. We're going to walk through the off-highway module for the Texas software just to give you kind of a glimpse at what this can do. So this is a great tool because honestly, besides OEM software, there's not a lot of other options out there to do anything on this stuff. So to start this, we're going to go into, first we're going to do a John Deere. And John Deere, it's listed under both construction and agricultural, but I'm going to go into agricultural first, then we'll do construction next. So as you can see as I'm going down here, there's quite a big list of coverages uh, of vehicles that you can connect to and do different things with. So I'll scroll through there once, and then we'll go back up to John Deere. And right there's our John Deere. We're going to pick a newer model truck. We're going to do a 5E, or a tractor I should say, instead of truck. We'll do a 5E, model year 2012. These little D symbols I'm clicking on, that means it's a demo mode. It's uh, We're not actually hooked up to anything, but it'll give us a good indication of what we can do with the tool. So right now, there's a bunch of different commands you can run on the vehicle. Uh, diesel injection, there's different adjustments that you can do with it. There's an instrument panel computer, computer you can connect with, your rear hydraulic lift, and your transmission. So the coverages are in there for all those things. The vehicle checkup, what that does is it does a quick scan of every component on the vehicle, kind of spits out all the codes and issues that you may be seeing. So for now, let's go into diesel injection, and we'll hit the little start button over here, and we'll do our demo diagnosis, since we don't actually have a real vehicle. And I'm picking which adapter. So when you do hook up to the vehicle, there is options for adapters. You do get the standard cables with it. This is kind of typical. What you'll see is a nice little video showing you where the connector could possibly be located. As you may all know, on these uh, earth moving equipment, agriculture equipment, the connectors could be anywhere. Under the seat, behind the cab, behind a panel, they could be hidden. They do their very best to show any kind of available videos in here as well for you. So I'm going to then hit the green check mark to go into it so we can connect to the vehicle. The process is fairly easy with the Texas system. Usually big buttons over here on the left and right. You just click what you want to do and it'll, they'll give you prompts in the middle of the screen. So no matter what you connect to, everything's going to look the same. On this particular vehicle, I'm going to click on parameters first. You'll see there's over 186 parameters. This is the live data coming off the vehicle. You'll see some red and green values. That signifies your low and your high value while you've been connected to the ECM. Um, and again, there's just page after page after page after page of these ones. So as you go down here, they're pretty easy to see. All right. So next, let's go over here and click on dashboard. You'll have anywhere from zero to four dashboards uh, per ECU that you connect to. This one has three. So we have a dashboard here giving us more of a graphical representation of all those sensors. And we can hit the little arrows on the left and right to click through them. So you can kind of get an idea of what kind of information you'll be able to see. On the fault screen, this is where you'll see some other information. Uh, decreasing engine horsepower, they'll show active or inactive. These are yellow, so we know they're inactive. If I double click a code, I'll get my actual error code coming out of the ECM, along with the FMI and the number of times that it's happened. Let's go over here to ECU info. This one will just display all kinds of information, configuration data on your ECM that you're connected to, activations and settings. This is where people want to see all the different tests. So some of the more common ones people want to see compression test, uh, cylinder cutoff tests, and I'll just scroll down here so you can kind of get a good idea of what's in here on a John Deere. So settings, again, a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, there's your service regeneration, calibrate your EGR valve, injector programming, relearning the VGT uh, command is in there. So anytime you see a little, a little question mark in a bubble over there, you can click on it and they'll give you a little more information about that command or when you should run it. So that was the John Deere very quickly that we went through. Now let's go show you some of the construction stuff. Uh, and we're going to hop on over to that one as well. So I'm going to click up here on my menu bar to get all the way back to the main menu. I'm going to click on construction. And what should we do here? Let's do case is a popular one. So we'll just pick any of these at random. Doesn't matter which one. We just need something with a D for the demo mode. So we'll click on it. It's saying it's got an FPT engine in this model. I just click through the prompts. On this particular case bulldozer 6500, I can connect to the diesel injection system, the indicator and control unit, which is usually like a cab controller, instrument panel, and transmission. So all of those things are, are located. Ah, here we go. This is for a joystick transmission. So again, the only demo mode I can do here is the one with the Ds. So we'll hook up into that guy there and do our demo diagnosis. Again, it'll ask us what cable to use. We'll pick the top option. 
And down here, you know, it gives you a picture of the equipment so you kind of know what you're hooking up to. This one doesn't have the pretty video, um, but it'll at least give you a little idea what you're connecting to. All right, hit the green checkbox and we wait for it to go. So besides Texa, I really don't know of another tool that will do anything with Case. Uh, so it's, again, it's a, a great universal tool for everything. So on this particular vehicle, there's 25 different parameters we can see. The dashboard, we have two dashboards that appears on this one. Go through both of them so everyone can get a glimpse of it. The fault screen, the red ones are active. We have some more repair information. Again, our bubble with the question mark, we can click on that and it's going to give us some information about that code and what we need to do to fix it. So let's see what this fan relay one is. This one has some information in there as well. All right, clicking on the ECU tab, similar as before, a bunch of information regarding programming on it, and your activations and testing, injector off test, uh, clearing the memory test, testing the RPMs, and a rail pressure regulation valve test. And obviously this menu changes depending on what you're connected to and what commands are available for those things. So let's go do one more. We'll, uh, we'll go do a Kubota here. Nope, little team viewer window popping up. All right, so let's go over here to construction vehicles and let's go down to Kubota. And we'll do a skid steer with Kubota engine. And let's see what we can do on this thing. All right, we'll pick our cable. And again, no particular movie on this one, which is okay, but they do give you the connector number you would need along with what the pin connector would look like. All right, we just keep clicking through the prompts as they pop up. And make sure the ignition's on, press confirm, and here we go. So again, parameters on this particular engine, over 74, dashboards, Looks like we have three different dashboards and we can page through them real quick to show everybody what you'd be looking at. All right, so there those are. Faults, again, this one has an inactive code for intake throttle lift sensor. We do have the highlighted question mark with a bubble. We can click on it and it's gonna give us some repair information on that code. We'll click back and go to ECU info, activations and settings, what everybody wants to see. So again, injector cutout tests, glow relays, all kinds of tests. The help button lights up. We can click on it and it'll tell us what we do or why this test exists. And then the settings tab, same thing. Here's some DPF regeneration checks, uh, you know, injector compensation. I'm not even sure what that is, but I can click the button and there you go. Uh, it is functions to conduct pump difference after difference learning after replacing an injector. So the commands you need to be able to fix the vehicles are all in here, and it's just a great overall tool. So I'm going to exit back out, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them here on the comments uh, section or contact us for more information, and we'd be more than happy to discuss it with you. Thank you for watching.